Greetings web traveler, and welcome to Fandom Teapot, the dorky little podcast for dorky little geeks. Introducing your hosts, she puts the in, in introvert, Jen M. And, she's a particularly good finder, Corey G. Hi everyone, thanks for listening in. This is Fandom Teapot, and I am Jen, and with me is my friend, Corey. Say hi, Corey. Hi everyone! Hi Jen. So <laughs> nice to be here today. <laughs> uh, you say that, but you just came back here from getting like the like a blood test done. Yes. They, I, five vials of blood were in fact removed from me this morning. But I, it is okay because Jen always gives me like sustenance when I come to her house. Yeah, I'm just like, here, water. Yeah. Sit down right now. <laughs> Pet my cat. Calm down. It's fine. <laughs> Doctors are not all vampires. Probably. Probably not. Yeah. Probably not. Yeah. Hmm. Speaking, but... <laughs> so speaking of vampires, though? <laughs> speaking of vampires, though, uh, by that we mean probably not at all about vampires. Maybe? I, I mean, I could tell you all the things wrong with the Twilight universe. <laughs> like, not the Twilight story, mind you, but the <laughs> Twilight universe. <laughs> But as Corey just hinted at, uh, we are talking today about different universes, like fictional universes, uh, that would actually really suck to live in. Like, for example, a little bit of a self-plug-in, self-promotion. I have a YouTube channel where I do episodes of a series I called Fridge Stuck, where I literally talk about the Homestuck universe at at nauseum until <laughs> people are sick to death of hearing about it. They're not sick to death of it yet, though. <laughs> no, not yet. I'm still getting so many hate comments on my Aradia video. There's no leaving that. Uh, <laughs> YouTube hate only makes her stronger, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> but, yes. But I think everyone who reads Homestuck, they really like the idea of living in the Homestuck universe, because you get to go on magical adventures with your friends. You get superpowers. You can create a new world just like how you want it. Except they ignore all the bad stuff. Provided you can figure out how to play the game before meteors hit the earth and kill everybody. Yeah. <laughs> and, and especially, you gotta make sure that you're one of the named characters, because there's a high chance that if you're not a named character, you're gonna die before the first act is even over. Like, if you're not a named character, you are going to die within the first roughly 10 minutes <laughs> yeah. of the story. Oh gosh, the first uh, like four minutes and 13 seconds. Haha! -ha. Eh, that's a homestuck joke, that's a you guys. Joke. But, <laughs> but even if you are one of the named characters though, that's where Homestuck differs from every other fantasy universe, because, like, obviously, you know, in many fantasy worlds, or, like, basically in any story where you're not the protagonist, like, it's just a pretty rough time. But in Homestuck, even if you are the protagonist, like, you're gonna die. <laughs> you're gonna die. At least once. At least once. Is there anyone in Homestuck who does not die at least once? Uh, I don't know. Does the mayor count? Okay, except if you're the mayor. Because the mayor is awesome. Yeah, the mayor is awesome. And Serenity the Firefly. Oh, that's true. Serenity the Firefly doesn't die. But she was encased in amber yeah. for who knows how long, so that might yeah. not count. Oh. And technically, I'm like, does the mayor count because he does get, you know, uh, jacked, like, around the end of- Does he die? I don't know if it I counts can't remember. or not. Sorry, we're rambling, you guys, but we should be talking That's... about more things, like other fantasy fictional universes that would actually really, really suck to be part of. Corey, I think you've been waiting to talk about this for a while now. Tell us about Harry Potter. So Harry Potter, okay, like... <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, listen, you guys. Now, Harry Potter was written, right, as, like, this beautiful, like, you know, Harry's got this terrible muggle life, and he gets to go into, like, a secret, like, you know, you tap three bricks, secret door opens up, <gasps> wow, magical wizarding universe, you get to go to magical wizard school, like, you know, make friends, this is great. Here's the thing, wizards in Harry Potter are just terrible, awful people. <laughs> I think we can agree that after uh, Fantastic Beasts, the American wizards are, like, 
yeah, don't marry muggles. Yeah. And we're like, oh gosh. I know, it's, it's actually But that's funny. like the very, that's just the top yeah. of the thing. That is, well, it's actually funny because th there is just super racism. E like, everyone, even Ron's dad is like, what? <laughs> like, he, and he oh, loves muggles. Oh yeah, muggles are just like his big hobby, his big fascination. Yeah. What is the function of a rubber duck? Yeah, like, he's like an expert. But he, like, treats muggles like they're, like, he doesn't seem, still doesn't seem them as people. Just like a he's curiosity just, like, that he's, he's just so like, obsessed with. Wow, it's amazing. How did they get on without magic? It's like, dude, like, technology has gotten on without you. And so that's the other thing about Harry Potter is, like, they ignore technology to their detriment. Every, every one of those books, it's like, okay, we're gonna write with a quill. Guys, oh gosh, and it doesn't. It, it never even says magical quill. <laughs> it just says quill. <laughs> like it's just a normal, regular quill, I guess. Though I would assume that over the years they got it to the point where writing with a literal feather is not the worst thing in the universe. I mean, yes, but I'm just saying this is like okay, like this. These are this is the attitude of the wizard. Ballpoint pens have existed for a very long time, and they're like, what? No, don't give me any of that Muggle sorcery. 1600s, like, ink technology is good enough for me. Well, I think it's about this time we should probably have a short commercial break, but we'll get right back to you with more fantasy universes that would actually suck to live in. Woo! This was not the commercial that was included in the final project, by the way. Hi everyone, this is Jen, and I'm just here to let you know that I have a Patreon account that I'm trying to get up and running. You can donate as little as one dollar, just consider it guilt-free ad blocking, because it takes a lot of energy and time to do all this stuff, and it would really help if I didn't have to work as many hours as I currently am. I'm also looking for other ways to reward higher donations, and I could really use your input for that. Leave suggestions below, and I'll let you get back to the show. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying I condone yeah. the hatred of muggles. The Dursleys... But if all muggles were the Dursleys, oi. But yeah, welcome back, listeners. We're back with more fandom universes that would really suck to actually be part of. Oh, gosh. I've got one. Mm -hmm. The Dragon Ball universe. Jen, that is patently ridiculous because who does not want to live in a universe that contains Goku, the nicest man who ever lived? <laughs> Goku's an idiot. But he's so nice. <laughs> you know, I, I'm more of a Vegeta person myself. All right. I'm like, Vegeta like had the best character development in Fair. that series. He started out as the Prince of All Saiyans, I'll destroy the Earth, and then he got... Married and had two children. <laughs> two beautiful children. Two poorly named children, but that was Bulma's fault. <laughs> anyway, I'm saying that the fantasy universe of- You're saying or uh, you're super saying? Sorry. <laughs> I'm just super saying that the universe of Dragon Ball would be a terrible place to live if you're not one of the main characters. Yes. If you're one of the random Joe Schmoes that are just walking around, that would be the worst possible place to live. So much collateral damage, honestly. Collateral damage, and it'd be kind of like a, a typical day walking into an insurance company or something would be like, oh, sorry, uh, my building just got destroyed by this cat head guy. What do you mean, act of God isn't covered? <laughs> he only claims to be a god. We don't know if he is. <laughs> Me trying to figure out life insurance. How that would just be the worst career choice you would have ever made. Because every couple years, they're just coming back to life. Yeah. I know it's technically, it's like all the people that lost their lives in those great, like, big destructions. Like, Cell just came mm. in and, like, slapped mm. a bunch of people to death. But... Or like also, boo. that's like the worst thing. Like or you've boo, got this turning them grave. into turn, turning people into chocolate and just eating them. Yeah, like you have this mass grave. Okay, half of it it says just like slap to death, slap to death <laughs> by cell. Yeah, the other <laughs> turned into chocolate and eaten. 
There's no dignity even in this atrocity. <laughs> no, and you can't go to an insurance company and, like, claim life insurance from, like, a loved one. Mm -hmm. Because you know in, like, two years they're gonna show up back at your doorstep and be like, Sup! <laughs> That was weird. Yeah. And you'll be like, dang it, Roxanne. <laughs> Can you imagine being a lawyer, though? And like, okay, so after like the first time everyone comes back, mm. right? Like, presumably this isn't just something that happens all the time, but like, you're a lawyer. After the first time everyone comes back, you're helping like this life insurance firm. They're like, listen, <laughs> we just almost went bankrupt. We need to write a good, some good contract terms here. And you're like... It's like, does this count as resuscitation against yeah. their will? Yeah, how do I close off any loopholes because I don't know how people are gonna come back to life. Oh gosh, just be, it would just be awful. Mm -hmm. Have to rebuild everything mm -hmm. and people will be dying and coming back to life all the time with all these terrible alien disasters that are coming exactly. to Earth just to find this one guy who is like Superman, but not. Yeah. So that is the thing about the Dragon Ball universe. It's essentially like your DC or your Marvel universe, right? Which is like bad guys and like, oh man. But at least in the Dragon Ball universe, they do find the nearest location of like an abandoned land mm -hmm. or field that is or a true. canyon to have their fights in. Yeah. So there's less casualties than the Marvel universe. Yeah. But for some reason, I'd still want to live in the Marvel universe. Yeah, well, I, I mean- I don't know why that is. We've actually reached the end of our time here. So it was actually great talking with you, Corey, about all this information. I mean, I'm not done, Jen. Like, listen. I'm we're sure. Gonna... <laughs> we're going to talk more about Harry Potter off camera, right? <laughs> we're going to talk more about this without the podcast running. Okay. It'll be a great afternoon Bye, guys. with just tea. And, but yeah, thank you guys so much for listening. And we will see you all next time. Next time. Later. Bye. Bye.